What's up? It's Crypto Kong. I'm going to be quickly going over how you guys can bid on the HSI auctions. So to bid on any of these auctions, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to app.icosa.pro. And that's going to take you to the essentially the icosa slash hedron slash hex front end. Here, you'll be able to see your hex native stakes. You'll be able to see your any HSI stakes you have encapsulated as well as if you tokenize them, you'll be able to see your NFTs here. And as well as you could stake your ICOSA in this app. To stake ICOSA, you would just need to buy liquid ICOSA from Uniswap. So you would need Ethereum for gas fees. You'd create a stake, add your max ICOSA or however much you want and stake it. You'd have a minimum stake length. If you end your stake before that, your penalty would be proportional to your amount of days served. So if you served 15 days of your 30-day stake and then ended it, you would lose 50% of your principal, 50% of your yield, and 50% of your Hedron yield as well. So that would, same thing applies to Hedron, basically. But instead of earning Hedron and Icosa in the Icosa pool, you only earn Icosa in you only earn Icosa in the Hedron pool. Uh, so this is a way where you can develop some plays you, if you think about the game theory uh, you could compound your interest using both of these pools together as well as uh, creating smaller accounts with both of the pools there's many different plays you can do but it's pretty nice as well as down here you'll be able to see any watts as you have and you'll be able to sell your tokenized HSIs to the HSI buyback and that will give you ICOSA and that is derived from the T-share rate and the amount of T-shares within your hex stake or your HSI. And then what you could do with that ICOSA is you could dump it on the market. So it's kind of like a liquid hex share as well as you could stake it for ICOSA. Now to get into how you can bid on these auctions, I'm going to leave a calculator in the comments if you want to calculate uh, a good price to purchase any auctions at as well as I could also leave a calculator for an HSI to see how much yield you have sitting there if you're interested in that. So as well as if you could leave a like and subscribe if you're new, that'd be greatly appreciated. If you want to bid on these auctions, what you're going to want to do is the rule of thumb is basically any of these starting bids, you like the amount of hedron you're giving up for the amount of B shares, no matter what, will be worth it. Even if the price does a million X for any of these coins, the amount of hedron you're starting the bid for will always be worth the uh, amount of value in the T share. Now, you could start overbidding on these. If you're spending more than around 5,555 hedron per T share, you're technically overpaying in terms of hedron. Maybe not in terms of the USD value within the hex stake, but in terms of what you can extract value from your HSI, you're overpaying. Uh, the calculator will go over that if you're interested. So to start any of these, all you would need to do is have some Ethereum for gas fees in your account. You would just start the auction and you would have to uh, just wait and you would be able to start your basically place a starting bid if you uh if you had basically enough hedron and enough gas fees to process the transaction here you can see a bunch of uh bunch of stakes here these are not so good ones but even if you're priced at all-time high 2500 hex is 1200 dollars 2000 hex thousand dollars right so you're still looking at like there's still value in these hex stakes maybe just not right now as well as anyone bidding on these will go sh that yield that burnt hedron will basically become yield in the icosa staking pool so if you want to bid on these uh the first question i had was when i bid my hedron do i get it back yes you get all your hedron back you get every everything you bid just besides the gas fee and the smart contract automatically executes everything for you so there's no like uh regaining your bid amount it just if you don't win you automatically get hedron deposited back into your wallet and if you win 
you do have to claim the hex stake. So there is another like gas fee attached if you win one of these auctions. You will have to uh, pay a gas fee to actually transfer the HSI into your wallet. To bid on these, as you can see, this one 5.56 T shares going for about 400 million Hedron. This is a fine price. How I price these at is I take, if it's five T shares, I basically subtract one and then that's how many million Hedron it should be worth. Worth. So I wouldn't pay over 4.5 million or 450 million Hedron for this specific amount of t-shirts uh, let's say I want to place a bid for 425 I would just need to have enough gas fees in my account as well as enough hedron to place 425 million dollars and I could just place a bid from here and then it would take a few uh, not a few minutes but a few seconds for the everything to process in the gas fees just let the let the app do what it needs to do it might take a few seconds just let it load let it do its thing You'll see your account is the current bidder. It'll be lit up green for you. So you know that you're currently bid on the stake. You don't have to search for your account. And uh, if someone overtakes your bid, that Hedron will get automatically redeposited into your account. So a good strategy could be waiting for a bunch of stakes that are similar to be right next to each other. And then you could bid on a few of them. And if the auctions are busy, you could potentially snake one of those under the radar. Because I've seen that happen. I've seen some of these uh, some of these T-shares go for an extreme discount on Hedron, and it's pretty good. You could you could potentially get a discount. So yeah, I think that's all for how you, how you build, uh, how you can build bid on these stakes as well as the uh, Icosa slash Hedron app.